I became involved in, in this sort of um, this revolution in Wales back in 2011, um, following an outstanding inspection within the school, which I was head teacher at Castle Hoo. Uh, and I was searching for the next hook. I was searching for the next hook uh, on the back of having seven wins, seven outstanding uh, sector leading practices and so on. And the next hook for us was mobile technology. What it looked like then, we didn't know, but we did our research and we, we sort of crafted it to our culture. Um, and at that time, obviously, the Welsh Government were launching uh, new reports. Uh, the National Digital Learning Council was set up, which I was part of. And that inspired me, and that drove me, um, and that made me realise that this was extremely important, not only to, to my school, but to children in my school, to families, and to Wales. Because you have to marry up, obviously, the ed if education is strong in a the country, then economic growth is going to be strong as well. They just go hand in hand, and without one, you can't have the other. Um, and that inspired us. Um, and I just feel that since that time, we've had huge investments in Wi-Fi, we've had huge investments in broadband across Wales. We've got Hub, which is the online learning platform. Uh, and I feel things were accelerated really quickly. But I do feel, being honest, we've, we've stalled. As a nation, we've stalled for whatever reason. Uh, we have these reviews, we have these agendas, we have them there ready for us. Um, and there is a general feeling across Wales, I think, that we're standing still. Uh, and that can only be frustrating for your new teachers coming into the profession. It can only be frustrating for people who now have the Wi-Fi within all the schools across Wales because of the large investment the Welsh Government have made. But yet the necessary reform to the curriculum and to the agendas which really drive our teachers in classrooms is not being addressed. Um, you know, we're currently reviewing the review. There must be valid reasons for that, but I fail to find them, to be perfectly honest. And I think, for me, uh, as a leader of a school now for, for almost six years, Something I was passionate about, we did a developing leaders programme uh, and that was about giving teachers the opportunity to come to me with ideas. Uh, and as it happens in the last three years, a lot of them been based around technology uh, because obviously it's been part, become part of the DNA of, of what we're at at Kasuku. Uh, we've had apps developed and we've worked with designers and we've worked with um, banks, we've worked with entrepreneurs, we've worked with all sorts of people to give children those experiences. The ideas in a lot of the time have come from the teachers. The problem of the leadership across Wales, whether it be education, business or anything, is a, a true leader will empower and give those people opportunities to show their true worth, because that grows them as a leader. And I think in Wales, and I, well I know in Wales, I've worked all across Wales in the last two years on secondments and within the edtech sort of sector, a teacher got wonderful ideas. It's now about finding the avenues, firstly to their, their leader, and the leader feeling they're not hamstrung by budget or by restraints around bureaucracy or anything else, whereby they can give that teacher the opportunity and the release to actually put their idea into practice. That school then becomes a testbed for that idea. If that idea works, so the Life for Life programme, which we did in Castle School, which worked, you then have an avenue to share that with other schools, firstly in your area, your consortium, and it should be organic, it should then grow into consortium to consortium, it should become a national priority. That isn't difficult to do. The structures of what we have should be able to facilitate that. And I think sometimes we get too hamstrung by national initiatives which will go across the whole plane. They either work or they don't. Start rather from the top up sometimes, start from the bottom up. And start with a spark, start with an idea, start with a light bulb moment, start with anything. But put people in position along those rungs of the ladder to make key decisions to get the person to the top of the ladder. So at least we've got something we can be proud of which has come from, from within.